What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Suikoden. Woven Web of the Centuries. In this episode we're going to recruit the rest of the characters. We need five more characters to recruit. As you can tell here we have 103. So five more remaining. Um, let's return to the library here. And Domitia should say something else here. Okay, a cook named Hortensius. Very famous, okay. So this is one of the characters right here. So after we recruit Hortensius, there'll be four more left. I'd like to see this guy. Handed over Eritrea Sapling. By the way, um, all credit for recruiting these characters goes to the Wikia or whatever, the Suikoden Wikia, because that's where I got all of the information from. There's no way I'd be able to figure all this out by myself. So all credit, go well, yeah, all credit goes to them, of course. So they're, they're where I got, they're the reason why I got all this information and to recruit all these characters. So. Okay, anyway, she's going to plant another sapling. So one thing weird about this particular uh, recruit is you have to have ten of, like, a bunch of different meats. Um, let's see here. Let's go to consumables. Oh, we'll find our meat. Oh, it's over here. Okay. So you need 10 black thigh meat. Um, yep, I have nine. I need one more. And you also need crimson breast meat, which I think is red breast meat. I don't know why it says crimson breast meat on the wiki. Uh, the wiki's translations are a little bit off, or either that or the, the translations in this game are a little bit off. One or the other. It doesn't really matter, though. I don't really care about translation issues. As long as I get the gist of what they're saying, I don't really care. So, if there's any errors, I don't, like, I honestly don't care. <laughs> Doesn't bother me at all, anyway. Anyway, uh, we need to get one more meat. Or I need to get one more meat. Let's go to the market here. Okay, we have all the meat we need, um, but it also says to rest at the headquarters ten times. But I'm gonna go to the area first. Let's see where where did she plant it at? Oh, Mount Hione. Okay, cool. Cool beans. There's still that chest over there. Where I don't know how to get to though. Like, I have no clue how to get over there. Yeah, I don't know. I've never been able to figure that out. I don't really care, honestly, because it's probably nothing good. But, still. Okay, this is a brand new area here, guys. Maybe we just have to go to this timeline and get it. War Guard Boots. Those are, like, really good boots. And you get them in this area? I don't want to give them to Petruga though. I'll give them to Ilya. She needs the defense. Or no wait. That's not a good idea. Because uh, she doesn't need the strength boost obviously. I'll give it to Jaguan. And he could use the strength boosts. Yeah, plus 96 now. Okay, um, let me go back to this and see if the chest is opened. 
Yeah, it is, see? So you can only get it in this timeline. They have a true good army leveled up. Army's up level 84. Is there anything down here? Let me move my computer back some. It's right in my face. Anything over here? Besides giant bears? Okay, let's uh... Go to where we found Hydrek. And see if there's... See all, what all we can do here. Okay. Here he is right here. But let's look around real quick. Okay, let's talk to him. He's like a nobleman, clearly frazzled chef. Um, Namistro. いかにも私はホルテン。はい。愛用に安い肉料理の真髄を。ホルテン修様の調理を。調理。ホルテン修様 <笑>この肉の調理を想像。うん。どうなさ偉大なるホルテン修様とも暴虐の限り美しい暴れもあった後、離れの枝の兵士たちに倒される様は精神に耐えるほど無残で醜悪極む。こうしてと。ああ、おいた。では、その機械な照らす彼も見て以来、は、食材の肉を見ただけで、この
Okay, now we need to go rest for 10 days at the headquarters. So it's a good time to work on your dungeons and your uh, uh, production and stuff like that. Okay, I need to buy some more fire, ice, and wind stones. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do is just buy a bunch of everything. I really don't have to buy this stuff again. For a while, anyway. Very expensive, but that's only because I'm buying so much of it. There we go. Now let's go ahead and do this one. Yep, Stolid, Magicite's good. Yep, that's good. I guess I'll do a mix of Stabilizer and Antitoxin. Panacea is good. You can also do a hunt every day if you wanted to as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest 10 days in a row. And I'll be right back whenever I'm done. It'll take me a while, but I'll do it. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm gonna rest it uh, 10 days at the headquarters. And we can talk to him now. Alright, he can prepare it finally. Okay. Namistro. And there we go. Hortentius skills been passed down. King Stake. Alright. So now we need four more characters. Because we now have 104. I still haven't got those two rewards yet, but... Only a matter of time. Got 825,000 poach. Anyway, I need to figure out what characters I'm missing and I'll... Let's actually go to the tablet and see. Okay, let's see which stars we're missing. We're missing... There's only two I'm missing. 
Chiketsu Star. Or Chiretsu, I'm not sure. I can't, it's hard to see. The Chimau, Chimau Star. So that means some of these I don't have their skills for. I'm missing two characters that I need to get their skills out of these. And there's two I'm missing. So let's find the two I'm missing and then I'll get the two that I need to get the skills for. So Chiretsu and... Okay, one of the skills I'm missing is Fritika's skill. And I believe the other ninja as well. Yeah, Sadiyaka. I'm actually writing these down as well. Um, Sadiyaka. Okay, so I'm missing the Dretsu Star, the Chamu Star, and then I'm missing the two skills from here, from these two, and then we're done. So let's go ahead and leave. Uh, we need to go see Wafti in Hodos Village, and that'll be how to, we'll get the last two stars from him. Let's go back 100 years. And talk to Wafti. And that should lead to getting the last two characters. Herbalist in our group name Mezwar, okay. Mezwar, yeah. Oh, that's right, we need Moody in the party, I forgot. I forgot to add Moody. Go back to the headquarters, add him to the party. My bad. I actually forgot to do that. You speed up through this. We'll go back to Hodo. Oop, nope, Hodo's Village. What's going on here? What is it? There we go. Another 108 stars of destiny. Mesworth's skill has been passed down. Heavenly Drops. Let's check that out. Greatly heals one ally. Okay, cool. All right, let's go speak to Wafty again. Okay. Uh, ooh, yeah. This will be the final recruit right here, guys. の蔵の子にあったのを見つけた。村の年寄りに聞いてみたらよ。よい。知ってんのか ?200年前。僕たちは。よ。ああ。そうな。もうちょっと待って。この。でも。You win skills when passed down. All right. Radiant arrows. And there we go, guys. We have all 108 stars of destiny. However, we still need two skills left. So what we need to do now is go get those two skills. I gotta look up how to do it. 
All right, I'm back, and I'm in the Zeptolos Fortress uh, 200 years ago. So basically, the Behemoth Grave 200 years ago, and we're here at the exit. And here we get, uh, here we meet Fudrika. Yep, the Yuga Ninja. Denka Alright, it's boss time against Frederica. Are you secure a strike? And then we'll do Empire Empyrene Shrieking. Take her out. Yeah, super easy boss, as you can see. Fred, Ika's skill has been passed down. Fierce Deity Blade. Alright, so now we need one more skill to learn, guys. Three consecutive attacks, slash, slash, and then thrust. Okay, now we need to go to West Mount Hione. And with uh, Regius or Gul-Uraga, Gul Gul -ur -aga. and we'll be able to get the final skill. Okay. Uh, we have to go to the 200 years ago. This will be the final skill, guys. We'll have all 108 stars of destiny, plus uh, uh, plus all the skill. Well, obviously, when you get all 108, you get all the skills anyway. But you know what I mean. We'll have everything complete besides the hunting. We need we need to complete the hunts and the dungeons as well. So. Here he is. Alright, so he's gonna join the party. Wow, four hundred and twenty two speed. Wow, ridiculous amount of speed. Hellish murder. Let's have everybody defend. We'll have medium damage to all foes. Alright, let's do, uh... Oops, I didn't mean to do that one. Dang it, I hit the wrong one. So now I gotta fit another round because I screwed up. I meant to use the one that recovers SP. There we go. All 
Alright, so I gotta use it. Uh, three more times. Um, I need to... Crap, I accidentally defended with her again. I'm, I wanted to heal the enemy. I'm gonna use Mother Ocean to heal them. There we go. Perfect. Now I can use it one more time. And he should have the ability. Yep, 100%. Alright, cool. Sadi Yaka's skills been passed down. Alright. Alright. So we have every 108 stars of destiny, guys. Let's go ahead and return to the headquarters and I'll show that off real quick. So I'll go down the list here. And then I'll show 108 recruits after I'm done. Going all the way down here. We have every single skill too. And then I'll go up as well. Pause the video if you need to. Alright. So not every um, character's been recruited. I want to do that final hunt. There's that one hunt I couldn't complete earlier. I want to try to beat it this time. And hopefully I'll be able to. We'll see how it goes, guys. I think I'd rather have the Earth Armor equipped to boost his attack. Yeah, plus 240 attack. Meat the king steak, black thigh meat, premium meat, and beast meat. Okay, and we'll do we'll unite here. Uh, we want to do Ilya first. Or no, wait, we want the main character first, then Ilya. Then we want Ermi, then Jaguan, then Myra, and Zeppon last. Or actually, it is Zeppon, but then Myra. Save. And we'll do the final hunt. See if we can beat it this time. Alright, it's time for the final hunt. The last dragon. You gotta defeat a dark dragon. Let's see if we can win this thing. I have my whole party united. And let's see if we can take this thing on. See if we can win. This is basically the hardest boss in the entire game.
Okay. So we'll do Final Form Slay. As you can tell, the boss did a ton of damage to us. I want to do Divine Spear Flash. We want to do Behemoth Onslaught, uh, Thunder of Truth, and Thunder of Truth. This boss can attack twice too, I noticed before. I fought this boss before and it does two attacks. I don't know if it does two attacks every time, but... There we go, I got it. Alright, the final hunt defeated. Yeah, you get a ton of EXP for defeating it. 1400. 8,000 Poach, Poison Crystal, Beast Stomach Acid, and Beast Fang. So you're pretty much guaranteed to level up if you beat it. Receive Champion's Ring. Not sure what that does. Doesn't say what it does. Is it just like a medal, like saying, "Oh, you beat the, you beat the strongest monster in the game." Let's check it out in the inventory. See what it says. Ring worn by a legendary ruler known only as King, who resigned over the world in ancient times. Okay, I have no clue what that does. But that was the final hunt. Uh I'm guessing I don't think I don't know if there's any hidden ones or whatever. But it's the final one that I saw. Uh so I'm guessing it's the final hunt, so Managed to take it out. And of course they give you a useless ring. Alright, we need to go take on one more boss. I'm here in the Skrillo Marsh. You know the bosses that we fought earlier? The Buffalo, the Lord Sagittarius, the Major of Freets. And there's one other one that we fought as well. Well, there's one more of those bosses and it's in the Skrillo Marsh. We're going to go take it on right now. You'll notice heading through here there's no enemies. Now, the only enemy you'll find here is the boss. I don't know where the boss is at, but I'll find him. Looks like it might be over here. Alright, so you know the bosses that we fought earlier? The Lord Sagittarius, the Buffalo, the Major of Freets. And there was one other boss as well. We're going to be taking on that boss. Uh, there's another one in Skrillo Marsh we're going to be taking on gonna eat a food here and then we're gonna head on over there and then the last thing I'm gonna do in this episode in this final episode is to take on the final boss again and show off the 108 stars of destiny ending let's get to scroll of marsh here And you'll notice that there's no enemies here when you go here. We need to make way over on over to here. Right over here, make a left. And 
know, find the boss right over here. Uh, save your game. And here we go. Strange, I'm getting some ba real bad chills going this way. Yes, let's challenge. And it's boss time against four fugitive ninjas and the master ninja as well. Yeah, so it'll spam a bunch of AoE on you. We'll do Gentle Wind, we'll do Heaven and Earth, we'll do Fateful Earth, uh, we'll do Thunder of Truth on the Boss, and Thunder of Truth on the Boss. Oh, it's Ninja Leader, not Master Ninja. There we go, took down the... Shinobis. There we go, took it out, alright. So that's actually the final boss they gotta show off too. We defeated every single boss in the game. And for defeating that boss you get 20,200 poach. And a lot of EXP. You also get this chest as well, which contains double clothes. So it's every single boss in Sweek It In, Woven Web of the Centuries. Thank you guys for watching the All Bosses video. And be sure to check out other All Bosses videos on the channel. There's plenty of them on the channel. And later. Alright, there's one more thing I gotta do in this episode, and that is take on the final boss again and show off the 108 Stars of Destiny ending. There might not be anything new to this ending, but I guess we'll find out. And I was figured in games you have like a little extra bonus. If you collect all the 108 stars of destiny. I don't know if there's any bonuses in this episode. Or, wow. I don't know if there's any bonuses in this game or not. <clears throat> but I'm going to defeat the final boss again. And I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. I'm going to start with skill. Funnel form slay. Attack with Ilya. Divine Spear Flash. Vehement Onslaughts. Thunder of Truth. Or actually, yeah, thun uh, Thunder of Truth. And Thunder of Truth. About 1500 damage there. 1700. There we go. Defeated the final boss in one round. That's it. Thank you guys for watching.
Later. What is up, guys? Razor here. And welcome to the 108 Stars of Destiny ending in Suikoden, Woven Web of the Century. I'm not sure if this ending is new, but we'll find out. Like, I've already beat the game, but now I beat the game with all 108 Stars of Destiny, and usually when you beat the game with all 108 Stars of Destiny, the ending will be different. I don't know if the ending's different or not. I guess we'll find out. This seems different to me right here. So I think this is it. This is actually new, I believe. But this is the 108 Stars of Destiny ending. I have all 108 Stars of Destiny recruited. Yep, I think this is new, guys. And this is spoilers, by the way, for those of you who are watching my playthrough. I'm going to go ahead and upload this before the playthrough is actually done. So, yeah. Yep, this is it. This is a new, this is all brand new, guys. This is awesome. I've never seen this before either. I've already beat the game before, like I said, but this is the first time beating it with all 108 stars of destiny. Huh? Alright. That's awesome how it has a new ending, just like in the other games. I've always seen the... I've never seen, like, the regular endings, though. I've always seen the 108 Stars of Destiny endings in the other games. Because literally every time I've played through the other games, I've recruited all 108. So... I've never actually seen the normal endings of the other games. Okay, so yeah, a little added bonus there. That's pretty cool. Denka. <laughs> That's like going to go to the new world. Yeah, this is new as well. I don't remember. This is definitely new right here. Pollock. Pollock and Muai. And there's Thorwald and Rolf and a bunch of villagers. That's some tall grass. Probably snakes and stuff in there. ずっと閉じていた世界がいろんなものが淀んでいた。その淀みを吹き払えたのも彼らの世界。考えてみれば不思議なものだね。一つの歴史だったはずの世界が枝分かれして、そうだから多分アストリッドさんの世界の未来に
それでも僕たちは彼らと出会い助けたり助けられたりして、yep. 変わっちゃっ変わらないさ俺たちにとってはなそれでいいじゃないか Wouldn't have been able to eat the final boss in one hit if not for you guys. In one round, one round I mean. Okay, so this is the same as it was before. That whole scene with Ingrid and、uh, Thorwald is new, though. Because I did see the original ending. Or the regular ending. So this is, this is the same as it was before. So, for those of you who might be confused, basically what I'm saying is I've, I've I beat the game without 108, without 108 stars of destiny, and I beat the game with 108 stars of destiny. The sending we're seeing is with the 108 stars of destiny. Just, just so anybody's not confused. Yes, I beat the game twice. I just wanted to see what. I wanted to see what it was like beating the game without the 108 stars and with the 108 stars. Just to see how much of a difference there was. And there's quite a bit of difference. Like, the 108 stars Destiny ending is a lot better than the, reg the regular ending. So make sure to get all 108 stars of Destiny. If you play through the game. どりょ。でも、さっきの話ではない、結界がなくなったからといって、出ていくだけの一歩、たまには顔を見せに帰ってこい。やっぱ、そういう。はい。You can always come back later. Brother and sister fighting it out again. Yep, and this is the same as it was in the original ending. Oh, this is new right here. It didn't pan out like that in the original ending. Yeah, that's, that was new there. How it showed the other characters. Like in the original ending, it showed, showed them on the ship, but it didn't show the other characters. See? It's showing Sun Hill and e p i l and then there's Nido. This is all new, guys. There's no Derry there. Mime. Basically, a lot of the characters we recruited Jansen. That's awesome how it's totally different. If you get all 108 stars of destiny, so. You can save your cleared data. You return to the beginning of the game, but some of the, your data will be carried over. Saving data in another slot is recommended. Yep.
And I'll show you my other cleared data. As you can tell here, 47 hours. It says recruits too, but obviously it's a lot more than that. This is my 108 stars of Destiny recruits. See? You could tell uh, 1247 a.m. And this is at 1, 109 a.m. As you can tell. So it took me about 22 minutes to beat the Yggdrasilin. Basically, I went from the Terra Fortress to the final boss. And it took me, yeah, 22 minutes, as you can tell. Just, just for proof that I did get a whole 108. There's proof again right there, 108. So, I always like to provide proof online because... Okay, now this is... I'm going to go through all the stars here, guys. So, pause the video if you need to because it goes by very fast. I don't control this, by the way. It's automatic. So, I'm gonna I'm probably going to rewatch this and pause the video myself. Because don't, they don't give you time to read it. Like how fast do they expect people to read? I mean I could read it in my head that fast. But I can't read it out loud that fast. Like in my head it's easy to read it that fast. But. Like if I had to read it for you guys it would be impossible. So there's no way I could read it for you guys. <laughs> yes, the 108 stars of destiny ending. <clears throat> There'll be no blank spots in this. Uh, at all. Because we literally got every single character. It's funny how they do this in every single Swiggity game, guys, but then you never see these characters again, so. You know how it tells, says they're like, maybe like open a shop or whatever. Um, it would be cool if they made like another game and you like see see the shop in, in the next game or whatever. But they never did that in the Swiggity games. Like it would have been cool in Swiggity 1. Well in Swiggity 1 there were some characters in Swiggity 2 as well. So like Flick, Victor. But I believe at the end of 1 it says they go off into the unknown. But obviously you see them in Swiggity 2. So. They didn't really go out into the unknown. But I could be wrong about that. It's been a while since I beat Figured in one, so I don't really know what it says in the description of Victor and Flick. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't say they're in Figured in two, in at the end of Figured in one. I'm pretty sure it says they go on, off into the unknown or whatever, which is not true, obviously. Because you see him in Swiggin' 2. But anyway, it would have been cool if like... Like let's say Chandler, who is the item shop owner in Swiggin' 1, right? Let's say... It says he opens a shop in Jouston. Jouston's an area in Swiggin' 2, right? So it would have been cool... If at the end of 1 it says... Chandler goes to the north... 
and opens the shop in Jalston. And then when you play Suikoden 2, you go to Jalston and you see Chandler there in the shop. You see what I mean? Stuff like that would have been cool. That's just a hypothetical or whatever, not true or anything like that. It would have been cool to like see something like that, is what I'm saying. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, just leave a comment or whatever. I'll try to explain it more. Basically what I'm saying is it would have been it would have been cool to see the characters again in other games. Basically is what I'm saying. See their story continue. There's that creep no bonos, no no banos, whatever his name is. He was hitting on that he was hitting on Sildas. Can't really blame the guy, but still. Kind of nostalgic. Get close to the end here, guys. Of the into the roster here. They had to translate all this too, that's crazy. The people who translated this game. That's insane. Imagine that's a tra imagine imagine having to translate one hundred and eight lines of like a paragraph one hundred and eight times. That must have been a lot of effort. But yeah, if any of these went too fast, guys, just re just pause the video or go back into the video and see what you missed or whatever. Because it goes way too fast. I think you should have to hit X in order to advance it. That way you can keep it on screen as long as you want. I mean, it get kind of annoying hitting X over and over again, but still. Yeah, there you go. All 108 stars of destiny. And here's the credits. I'm still going to be uploading for the playthrough. Uh, but yeah, this video has been pretty much spoiler heavy. Um... I'll probably put a spoiler warning at the beginning of the, ep of the video. But I just want to go ahead and upload it now because... Just let you guys know I beat the game and all that stuff. I basically just got to upload the videos and that's it. I've already recorded all the whole playthrough already. So. I don't need to do any more. I 
I am 100% done with the game. I 100% of the entire game. Yeah, awesome game. The 108 stars of Destiny is really good. Not bad at all. Yeah, not really much more else to say. Just letting the credits roll. Be sure to check out my um, All Bosses video of this game whenever I upload it. I'll be uploading it shortly. This will probably be uploaded before that. But yeah, make sure to check that out. And also check out my video where I one shot of the uh, defeated the boss in one round, the final boss in one round. That's pretty awesome. That's the first f final boss of the Swigian series that I took out in one round. Never actually done that before. Alright, getting close to the end here, guys. Alright, this has been the 108 Stars of Destiny ending in Suikoden, Woven Web of the Centuries. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. And later. It basically goes back to the intro of the game and you can replay through the game with the same level but you don't keep any of your items or anything like that you just keep uh, your level yeah thanks for watching later